of these cases have uh, generate such interest, and you see these long lines outside the the court where they're, it almost reminds you, you know, the lines forming outside of Cameron Indoor Stadium or something. <laughs> and um, uh, and uh, as I understand it, people uh, subsidize placeholders to uh, to sleep overnight mm -hmm. so that they can see the oral argument the next day. Um, and so if people, you know, go to these links just to watch their government in action for a, a short period of, of time. Um, is it really, is, has the time now come to, to televise the argument before the Supreme Court? The court itself could control the ground rules. Uh, no. Uh, the, uh, and, you know, um, first of all, on one thing, just because I do think it's a, a terrible thing, this idea of line sitters and paying them, we, we've advised the members of the Supreme Court bar that we think that's not an appropriate thing to do, so at least members of our bar aren't, aren't doing that. Um, uh, but, uh, no, I don't, and, and I think it's, the time has come, and just phrasing the question, you know, the time has come suggests that there's some inevitability uh, uh, to the to the direction, um, we have taken a lot of steps to make the court more accessible. You get the audio recordings; they used to take, uh, they weren't available for a long time. Now they're available fairly quickly afterwards. The transcripts are available immediately. Um, uh, but um, you know, the the television has changes a lot. Um, and I ask people, you know, which public institution has it been improved by uh, being televised? Um, uh, the, the, some of the senators mentioned to me uh, early on in my tenure that they thought the televising of proceedings in the Senate had a deleterious effect. So they used to actually do things in the Senate floor, and now they don't. I mean, you all can go, and it's nice to be able to see one senator standing up and speaking, but it's usually, in, you know, to an empty, empty chamber. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and again, I don't know what institution has been improved by being televised. I know a lot that have been uh, uh, harmed by it. And my judgment is that uh, it has the potential of hurting the court. Um, you know, I just, you know, when we have just the, the number of spectators we have in the courtroom, uh, you worry about um, counsel kind of playing to the audience. Um, and I have to be honest, worry about the, the justices doing that. Um, and you, you don't want that. Uh, you don't, and, and our general, we're a very cautious uh, institution. Um, I think our process for hearing and adjudicating the cases is working very well. Um, uh, and I think changing something as dramatically as televising the proceedings um, I, I think would be harmful. Um, and uh, I do worry. I mean, if you've been to our arguments, as I was saying, it is really a boom, boom, boom type of an affair. And I don't want to have to think, well, okay, how would that sound to the however many people watching at home, uh, is, are they going to understand the dynamic of what it's like? And um, uh, particularly if you get sound bites plucked out and you don't realize, you know, he wasn't saying this, that was a hypothetical that was posed to the lawyer. And how you know, and I think it's, it's not so much, um, and it's, it is uh, there. I mean, it's not as if we're doing this in secret. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and we're the most transparent branch in government in terms of uh, seeing us do our work and us explaining what we're doing. Um, uh, but I do think there's a potential for it to alter the argument process. I don't want to have to think about, well, what's that going to sound like? And then the question is gone and the, the, the moment is lost. Um, and so I, I think I... Would it cause the advocates to showboat? Well, no, but, and, and I, I, I've said this before, and it's kind of facetious, but only kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, you're, you're, you know, the ABC automotive company and you're in a Title uh, Seven suit for discrimination and, you know, employment. Um, you know, their lawyer, if it's going to be viewed by however many millions of people, is going to get up and start some speech about how the ABC company would never discriminate against anybody and, you know, blah, 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 and, and they have this great record and meanwhile there's this fairly technical legal issue that, yeah, they're probably figuring, oh, the court will get it right and I need, it's more important for me to communicate in some sort of PR way. And, you know, besides, you know, our new sport coupe gets 28 miles per gallon. I don't know what they're going to uh, do with it. But um, they're, they're, the courtroom is a very special place. 
it is, um, and p maybe part of what makes it special is that you don't see it on television. Um, uh, and um, uh, anyway, I guess tentatively I'm against it. <laughs>